Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build out an AI agent inside of make.com. This is going to be a start to finish tutorial. By the end of this video, you'll have an AI calendar agent that can be able to take actions on your calendar. So far this month, I made $14,600 building and selling AI systems just like this one. And so my goal for you is that by the end of this video, you'll understand the basics of AI agent development such that you can sell these to clients. So let's dive right in. So if we go over here into make.com, you'll be able to see that there's an AI agent tool now. Um, this is what it looks like. And we'll be setting this up with Telegram today. And so um, head on over to make.com, go to the AI agents tab, and it'll look something like this. Um, and then we can basically go here and start creating our own agent. And you can just click create agent here, connect it to an open AI, a Claude connection, we're gonna call this the calendar agent. We're gonna give it a model of GPT-4 and we're gonna say you are a calendar agent. You can retrieve calendar events, uh, create new events or up delete events or update existing events. Boom. calendar agent I already named one that so number two and then um, we're gonna give it system tools so we're gonna click save here and we're gonna set up these tools inside of a new scenario so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to um, create a new scenario we're gonna allow it to create an event so let's say uh, we go to Google Calendar sign into your calendar and we're going to allow it to create an event and so basically how this works is that um, similar to NADN agents you pass it a variable which is basically an AI agent variable um, such that it can um, respond and use that variable to to um, create and so we can use AI to fill this field right um, and so basically how this will work is we will allow the agent to, uh, this will be an input. And so this scenario inputs and outputs feature, this is new to the agents. And this is basically where we define what this is. And so we can call this like name of event. Call this, um, this is the title of the calendar event and there's no default value. So that's gonna be an input. So now if we go over here to the event name, you should see that it should show up right here to the uh, name of the event. So we're gonna um, go to the uh, variables tab so once we're in the event here, we're going to choose our, uh, or in the uh, module for creating an event in Google Calendar, we're going to set this up for the event name. Uh, we're going to use that name of event variable that we just created. Then we'll have to have start and end date as well. So we'll go in here and we'll add an item. It'll be a start date, start date. I need to use underscores. Um, the start time of the Google Calendar event. And then uh, we'll do an end date as well. So then we'll do end date, and this will be the end date of the Google Calendar event. And then, so boom, we'll go over here. It hasn't updated yet, I probably need to save this. We'll go to the start date, we'll add in Here's why that hasn't showed up yet. Okay. Calendar ID event name. There we go. Name of event, start date, end date. And so basically what this means is that these are the variables that the AI agent will add in um, to the event. And so then we could also do duration the total duration of the Google Calendar event. Let me save that and then go over here, see if it's gonna show up. Cool. 
flatten the duration as well. So this basically is like a node for the agent to be able to run this and to add its own data and variables and fields directly in this. And so for this one, it'll only work if we run it on demand. We want it like it's not a regular interval. We're not trying to run this every 15 minutes. It's only when the AI wants to run it. So you have to set this to on demand, activate scenario, save. Um, click save here, create an event. And now what we can do is basically the same exact thing, um, create an event, but we're gonna use it for other, and I'll delete this. We're gonna use it for other features as well. So we have create an event, then we're going to clone this, and we're gonna call it uh, get an event. And this will allow it to get an event. So we're gonna go in here, and then instead of uh, create an event, we're actually just going to uh, call this get an event. So we're going to go to Google Calendar, get an event. We're going to add in a, a variable down here, which is called um, event underscore ID. This is the ID of the event that we're getting. So we might actually have to search for events first, but let's see if this works. Um, so this is the calendar ID, which we'll map manually. And then the event ID, we'll call this, um, we'll use the event ID that we just created down here. And then boom, boom. Okay. I'm just gonna choose a random event here. And then I wanna retry this and see if it's available now. Sometimes it takes, a little bit of finagling to get this to work so we're gonna use the event ID now so now let's test this uh, agent out so whenever we go into the agent you'll see that we uh, created this agent we gave it a list of things that it can do and now what we want to do is if I go over here to agents actually um, we can get an event and so this requires a description this is how you retrieve information about about a Google Calendar event. And then we'll add a description in this one. Use this tool to create a new Google Calendar event. We'll click save. We're going to choose both of these as the different things that it can do. Click save. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build out this agent. It hasn't saved properly. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to new scenarios. And then we're going to go into uh, create an agent. And so we're going to go in here and we're going to set up a telegram bot, which basically will allow us to, um, which will allow us to, you know, chat with this agent. So we're going to start by uh, creating a telegram bot. Um, so boom, we're going to go here. We're going to create a connection, um, make.com calendar agents a connection and so this is where we need to actually create a telegram bot um, and so we're going to need to go over to telegram so once you get into telegram uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to type in the search feature type in bot father this is basically telegram's native bot creation you're going to click the start button um, and then we're going to create a new bot so we can go forward slash uh, new bot and then we're going to name it uh, make calendar bot and then we're just going to go through this username calendar underscore bot underscore one and then we're going to go into okay must end in bot okay i thought it did let's call it a calendar bot one the username must end in bot oh okay <laughs> calendar bot it's taken uh, v1 make calendar bot there we go so you might have to you know find one that's available and now it'll give us this token that we can use um, which I will delete this bot post video but we're gonna call this the calendar bot 
We're going to give it this token. We're going to click save. And that will give it access to this bot that we just created. And if we go back to Telegram, it will actually allow us to start interacting with this bot. Boom. Start. And so we're going to click save here. Save. Um, and then if I run this, I should be able to say hello. And it should trigger this. Boom. We got this in here. Um, the message now says hello. From the chat. From Ethan Nelson, hello. Okay, and so the next thing is we're gonna do a make AI agent and we're going to run an agent. And then for the thread ID, we're actually gonna go in here to the Telegram bot. We're gonna choose message, chat, um, and then we're gonna choose the uh, chat ID. So it should be, is it the message? <laughs> Um, basically the idea okay it looks like edited channel post title so I'm going to run this one more time just so that we can get this information in here the idea is that we want to pull in the message from the bot okay so let me uh, run this one more time this is a new message Boom, this is a new message. Now, where did that come from? Oh, okay, it came in the chat text feature. So we're gonna go over here and the thread ID is going to be the uh, message and then we're gonna choose the text. So wherever that message comes in, that's what we want. Because um, I believe for the chat, yeah. And so we're gonna add in additional system instructions, messages, etc. Um, and so we're going to add an additional system instruction. So this, I'm going to choose the calendar agent here and then inside of the system instructions, it's going to have these, I'm going to say, we're going to go over here to, um, Claude. Now with Claude, we're going to write out this prompt for the agent. So I'm basically just gonna say, write me an AI system, AI agent system prompt. That is for a calendar agent, give it access to the Google Calendar tool with all of the different um, events of Google Calendar. So it can be uh, creating an event, getting an event, deleting an event, etc., And then uh, format the prompt in XML. So we're just asking Claude to write an XML prompt for this agent and you should see it should give a, a pretty solid prompt here. So it's calendar prompt, personal calendar assistant. And like, I don't recommend, like prompt engineering is, is a super valuable skill. Um, but a lot of times it's just knowing how to format it, which is formatting it in XML and then asking Claude to format this for us. Um, and so boom, it's giving examples. You can see how comprehensive this is. All right, so now it's finished. Now we're going to copy this into the agent, additional system instructions, boom. Um, and then we're going to output back to the Telegram bot. We're gonna send a message um, and it's going to be to the calendar bot. The chat ID. It's going to be in here, so I bet I can just type chat ID ID. Chat ID is here. Boom. Um, the uh, message is going to be the. Um, I think we might have to run the agent to get the initial message, but it's going to be from the agent message thread ID. Um, I don't think we need that. So this is testing. All right, so now I'm gonna run this. And let's see if this works. So I'm gonna say, uh, go to, count, uh, say, create a new calendar event for tomorrow. Call it uh, workout. Okay, boom, the AI agent's running. It ran.
and it gave us a response. It didn't actually uh, create the event successfully, but this is where we can go in here. And now we can say this is the um, response. And then, boom, click save. And now, that is where we will add this in. Let's see what the input was. So if I go over here to the uh, operation, download input bundles, it was create a calendar event for tomorrow. Um, that was in the thread ID. I think we might actually need to change this. So uh, this thread ID, let's put it instead of into the thread ID, um, which is, I wonder if there's a thread, no. Um, history, yeah. So let's go into agent and then set up thread ID let's add it as a message and see if that uh, does the trick so we're gonna go in here instead of thread ID we're gonna add that as a message I'm gonna call that a message okay there we go and now I'm gonna click run and now I'm going to say uh, create a new calendar event for tomorrow it's probably gonna come back with something and say what type of event would you like to create um, name workout uh, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, for one hour so now I'm gonna Make sure that this is running so we can see how this is running. I'm going to add that information in. Let's see if it works here. Boom, I've added it to your calendar for a duration of one hour. Now if I go over to my calendar, so we can see um, the different actions that it took here. And then in the calendar, it added it as an event. And so um, this is the basics of how to build out an AI agent inside of make.com. Um, in future videos, I'll show you more advanced AI agent builds with multiple different parameters, multiple different tools. Um, but this is the basics. You create a Telegram bot, you have it output as a message, you run it as an agent, uh, and you give it different tools. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and see you in the next one.